Hi everyone, Grey Power 60 here. A little blast from the past, things that I made in the past and things that I I made today. Um, these were, and I'll, I'll link below the video, uh, Septeria 18 is the one who taught me how to do them and I made a few adjustments to it. Um, yeah, I haven't done these in a long time and these are scented and sequenced tea, ba tea bags and uh, sachets. So these ones here were the second, the first ones I think I did. There's just some uh, sequins inside. I hope you can see that without me having to adjust. And I just decorated it, add a little string, uh, stapled it on the back. It's quite a simple um, process. These sequins, I used a heavier vellum um, some vellums you can get are quite thin, and I think this is kind of a heavy, medium to heavy. So there's one that I did, another one where I had a little bit more of the mini sequences in there, and of course all tea bags have a string and have a little, a little tab on it. Let me check and see. Yeah, well, you're seeing it okay. Yeah. Um, so I, I decided I wanted to do them again, and I tried. I have in this package, I believe this one is the one. Um, let's go back a minute here. So this is how I used to package them, and I used to package them like this as a craft fair ideas. Now, I don't, I don't know how to do uh, word stuff on my iMac without having to buy uh, a word processing package. And I gotta check it because I, I haven't done any, but I'd like to be able to do it. Anyway, um, so I used to make these little packaging and I just called it a tea bag scented sachet. I took it out of here. Now I haven't done this in a couple of years. And when I go and link my video, to how I did it, um, I'll know when, how long ago it was. But I took it out, and this is jasmine. Um, yeah, this one is jasmine uh, scented, and uh, I took it out, and it still smells good. So these are great for um, gift ideas. These are great. Um, someone had mentioned that I should put a warning on it, not for drinking, so I put it over the staple, handmade with love. And I also put the ingredients, essential oils and baking soda. So that's what I did. But I liked decorating these things, and I liked packaging them. And I think that that's a lot of fun, especially if you're going to um, send it out as a happy mail or if you're going to sell them at a craft fair, just to make sure that they know that it's a sachet and not a drinking tea bag. So as I said, warning not for drinking. So I, I decided today, I'm gonna to sit down now. I'm going to have a little bit of my tea. It's, I've, I've heated it up twice. Because I get busy doing something and um, yeah, it get cold. So, um, what I wanted to mention was that, um, I have these packaged for Happy Mail. Uh, which one? Nope, it's this one. I could tell by feeling it. This one, I, I have a big, uh, a package of vellum that I had purchased, and I wish I had kept the cover to know the GSM for it, but it's it's heavy. So making these with a heavier material is actually uh, more difficult and they may crack. So that's why I prefer, when I'm doing them, I prefer to use tracing paper. And tracing paper, let me see if I can grab it. This is the pad that I bought, and sorry, I don't want to zoom out too much, but this is the one that I purchased, 40 sheets, 
uh, 9 by 12 and it doesn't give the uh, GSM but I don't know if tracing paper ever does but it's it's quite thin almost uh, almost like a uh, parchment paper type feel and well thin even thinner I think anyway and using tracing paper um, when you're doing the scented ones not the sequence ones the sequence ones I think the heavier ones um, are better because that way they, um, you know, are a little bit more secure is not the word I want to use. Resilient, I guess. Um, although here is one tracing paper and I mean, I've had no problems with it. But um, the heavier one I find is not as, as good. And of course I just shake it down. And I also showed you how to make it with baking soda and approximately, depending on how much you're using, 10 drops of essential oils. Um, these ones I believe are honeysuckle and this one is jasmine. And I love the smell. And it even makes my, my room in here while I'm doing this smell really nice. And I, I, like, I like that idea. These are great for you can hang them in your in your closet you can put them in your drawer and when you're done the nice thing about it is you can rip them open when there's no more scent you at least you think there's no more scent left you can just pour them down your drain of your sink and it it freshens it it you know baking soda always did freshen your your um your drains if you've ever you know use the whole vinegar and baking soda to unclog drains or to keep them clean um but baking soda it, it doesn't harm you know doesn't harm any not that i know of if anybody knows of it let me know but if, i mean we've been doing it for years so hopefully it's not harming anything so what i'll do is i'll put the link below and share these how to make these i'll share uh, Septeria 18, she, she shows you uh, how to do a couple of things. And my video actually shows you, she was doing the sequence ones. And my video will show you how I um, put them together using the baking soda. This is just a little, as I said, blast from the past because I loved these and I wanted to do some more because they're nice to put, they're nice to gift. They're nice to put in your in your dresser drawers to freshen the smell. And whatever essential oil you prefer, whatever scent, you know, if you absolutely hate jasmine and you prefer roses, you can use a rose essential oil. Um, if you don't like rose, you know, you could even use eucalyptus and, and, and peppermint and all of those other ones, you know, if that's the scent you prefer. So you can customize it to yourself. And you don't, um, if you already have the paper, you know, vellum or tracing paper in your stock, if you've already got baking soda, if you've already got uh, essential oils in your stash, you can throw it all together and create something really cute. And if you want to gift it, or if you want to try and sell them at a craft fair, these would make really cute little gifts. It's just a suggestion. Um, of course, you have to be careful, make sure that there's no allergies going on. Um, I remember many, many years ago at work where, um, Many people had allergies to all the different scents of perfumes that people were wearing. And it, it got to the point where we had to almost put a ban on extra scents, like extra perfume, which was difficult because we had to go out, you know, if you used hairspray, you had to go out and get um, unscented so that there was not... Um, I remember one time, I love lilacs. I love the lilacs in the bushes. 
and I had brought some into the office and one of the girls had an allergic reaction and I, this was prior to the kind of be careful on your, the scents you're using or whatever the warning. Uh, she had an allergic reaction and, um, you know, developed a, you know, horrible uh, runny nose and blotchy eyes and so on. And I felt really bad because I loved flowers in my office and I had to stop doing that. So you have to be careful on on people's allergies and, you know, sensitivities to different products and make things uh, labeled well. As I said before, I had to put a warning on here so that people don't think you can drink it. Um, and also the ingredients, which is essential oils and baking soda. I mean, hopefully nobody would drink baking soda, but I had that on there. But, you know, it doesn't hurt to put a little extra warning that it is only for decor and not for drinking. So that's it for me for today. Thanks for joining me. I just wanted to do a little bit of a, a nostalgic look back on some of the products, some of the things that I've made in the past. These are the types of things that I'm proud of because they turned out quite cute and they're useful, you know? Um, and I was really proud of myself for, for uh, finding tracing paper and using that um, to store my scented sachets. Anyway, guys, that's it for me for today. Thanks for coming down memory lane with me. I will give the I will give the link. I will link the channels below um, and how I made these, and uh, hopefully you'll enjoy it. If you like my videos, please give it a thumbs up. I really, really appreciate it. Love my family of subscribers, and if you're new to my channel and you'd like to subscribe, I really appreciate it if you'd hit that button. And uh, we'll see you again next time. Bye for now.